more to this story. This is yesterday's mail. The Canada Post said it was delivered yesterday. It's being delivered today on overtime. The hard proof something is wrong at Canada Post. There's no question that there's negligence involved here. The logbook we got our hands on that already has officials writing up their denials. Coming up on City News. It's a Canada Post epidemic that continues to spread in the GTA. Last week we never got mail till 8.30 at night. What new areas are now going without mail? And the hard proof we've uncovered about what's really going on inside the Crown Corporation. Once you explain it to the public, they go, okay, I get it. This is an issue. Now back to a story we've been following for almost a week now. Scores of you telling us you're not getting regular mail service. City News has been digging for answers. Natalie Dudridge is here with us now and has the Postal Union's response, and they claim they are stretched very thinly. Natalie. Gord, it turns out City News viewers aren't the only ones experiencing problems with Canada Post. I spoke with union leaders today and they actually showed me a book which contains a long list of issues logged by mail carriers themselves. It gives us a small glimpse at just how widespread this issue really is. I found uh, one of the mailmen on the street and he said, your mailman's on holidays and they just didn't replace them. I'm like, you're kidding. Since airing stories on mail delivery issues, City News has had an overwhelming response from viewers across the GTA and beyond. And these mail delays aren't just happening at homes, it's apartment buildings too. Then it was Christmas, we didn't get any mail that week. And then the week after, we didn't get any mail. It took three weeks from the date we had to stop getting mail for us to get mail again. The Postal Workers Union has received so many calls from their own workers that they've set up a hotline for mail carriers to call in and report issues. This logbook was started just one week ago and they've already received hundreds of reports. This is yesterday's mail that Canada Post said was delivered yesterday. It's being delivered today on overtime. Look at the money we're spending. Look at the list of endless, endless, endless uh, force backs. Force backs is union lingo for when a mail carrier has completed their own route and then is forced back out on overtime to cover someone else's. Uh, if we want to look at the Toronto area itself, from 2002, we had 10,600 members. We're now down to below 7,000. Uh, walks are not being staffed. Uh, as a result, we've got letter carriers out there with an angry public. Responding to multiple questions from City News, Canada Post says temporary workers are being brought in and that mail is flowing as it should. 